Something I really like about these Easter cars are just how subtle their design changes are. While it makes sense for Ramon to fully repaint himself for Easter, I mean, the dude repaints himself every single day, other characters like Mater and Flo probably wouldn't do that. So just giving them little subtle festive design changes is a really nice touch. As far as the Easter cars go, Mater is probably my least favorite, but he's one that I still quite like. His design is simple, subtle, and honestly barely noticeable, but I think that really, really works for him, and it makes it work well as an Easter variant. It's just a regular Mater with a little something special to him. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review and to another Easter car review. Today we're going to take a look at the 2024 re-release of Easter Mater, a car initially released back in 2017. This is my first time getting my hands on him. This is his first time being made in Thailand, and for this year's re-release, they've decided to give him the alternate tow hook that can actually tow cars. Uh, pretty interesting. Slip to the back here. <laughs> so you can see this wonderful TJ Maxx sticker in the way of some of the cars. Ramon, please don't have a sticker on here. There we go. You can see what it's supposed to look like on the back here with all the other cars out for this year. I really absolutely adore this packaging style. Some of my favorite packaging I've genuinely ever seen. Look at that. That looks so nice. Absolutely love that. It's crazy to think that Easter is tomorrow, right? I We've been having really bad weather where I live recently, and apparently it's not getting better anytime soon. It's supposed to rain all week next week. When you think Easter, you think nice warm weather, and like, no, not really. Better luck next year. <laughs> It's also so early this year. All right, we've got a little piece of plastic holding in the name tag and Mater. I will once again say, I really don't like the one piece non-folding clamshell. Never like when they do this because it makes it harder to pop the cars out. All these Easter cars have a one piece non-folded shell. And uh, I don't know, it's not that bad. If you go back to like 2010 and you buy a, a Cars Tune series pity, uh, every time, I feel like I'm going to break those. But nowadays, when they do one-piece non-folding shells, they, they work just fine. They give you enough space to easily get the car out. And here's Mater out of the package. Easily, my favorite thing about him is this facial expression. I believe it is a unique expression. It's quite similar to, I'm thinking, Mater with Balloon, which makes sense. These were released only about a year apart from each other. He has a very strong matte finish on him. Kind of a gross-feeling matte finish. Thailand does pretty strong matte finishes on a lot of their Maters. But, yeah, absolutely adore this facial expression. I think it's a really, really great one. And again, it's probably my favorite thing about this whole release. On the sides though, you can see the eggs painted on. He's actually covered up his towing and salvage shop logo, which is interesting. And uh, yeah, I mean, these, these, these resemble eggs enough. They are vaguely egg-shaped and have big old holes in the middle. He just drew rings. This is just Mater with slightly oval-shaped Fruit Loops on his side, quite frankly. Uh, I mean, if I stand back here, and if I stand back here, it doesn't look like eggs. If I stand back here, it just looks like Mater with the random splotches of color. It gets its job done. You can understand that they're eggs, and it fits Mater to not have it be super clean, to have it be kind of messy. We, of course, have this long hook. Is this the new standard for Mater's? I don't know. And like I said, when I reviewed President Mater a few days ago, who also has the long tow hook, I, uh, I quite like the fact that they're, you know, actually letting Mater tow other cars. I don't think it's necessary to change every Mater ever to have this uh, different style of tow hook. Personally, I don't really like how it looks all that much, but at the end of the day, cars toys are toys, and I think it's okay to sacrifice a little bit, you know, um, if you got a successful play feature out of it. And look, I mean... This barely looks like a tow hook either, okay? I think the best hook we've ever gotten is uh, these cars that emulate the Precision Series. Like the Color Changers and Mater with 95 hat. Or not 95 hat, the Lightning Bolt hat. Yeah. I think actually the 95 hat Mater may have had that uh, as well. But yeah, I mean, I don't really like how this looks. But like I said, these are toys. Toys are meant to be played with. And allowing you to actually tow diecasts more successfully with Mater is something it should not have taken them over 15 years to do. I'm just saying that now. I know I just said that the other day in my present Mater review, but I feel like if this is something they keep doing with Maters, I'm going to have to keep on bringing it up, which is something I'm not looking forward to. So I just want to firmly say my stance on, on this debacle now. A113 license plate on the back. 
There's a look at the other side, and finally, there's a look at the base. Like I said, not the most interesting variant, but he has enough stuff on him that works. He's got a good facial expression. He's got some nice paintwork on the sides. The eggs are, yeah, they're the exact same. It's just, it's just flipped. And yeah, really not all that much to say. Pretty subtly different variant, but a pretty all right one nonetheless. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.